It's not often that a regulatory person like myself is able to thank and congratulate a marketing person for their leadership and contributions in such an important area as DTC communication. I'm so pleased to have this opportunity to recognize Joe's efforts and leadership in this area. Joe is a key developer and leads our DTC Marketing Center of Excellence. This is a group that supports all of our Amgen products and the group works to develop and execute on consumer and patient communications. These communications that are developed are ethical, responsible, and accurate, and include the newest research, such as health literacy, as we strive to seek even better ways to communicate more effectively to patients. Joe and his group are dedicated and committed to serving patients, especially in areas of health and disease that are underdiagnosed or undertreated, as we believe these are areas where communication can make a positive difference, not only for patients, but society. Joe, as you accept this important recognition as a new Hall of Fame member, we congratulate you. On behalf of not only myself, but those in my group and our other colleagues at Amgen, we all want you to know how proud we are of you. And we are going to continue to expect great things from you. Again, congratulations. We wish you all the best. Thank you, everyone. I'd like to take a moment just to read a couple of comments from some current colleagues of Joe's. An astute marketer, a quiet yet dynamic leader, piercingly insightful and provocative, a wonderful teacher. Joe, you are the consummate team player. Joe, you deserve this award as a Hall of Fame marketer because of your marketing skills as well as your ability to build great teams. I am privileged to be a business partner of yours and a special friend. Take a moment to enjoy the special award. You deserve it. Congratulations, Joe. Wow, Joe, Hall of Fame. Bat and clean up on the DTC Nationals. That's great, great honor. Um, but what many people in the audience probably don't know is that Joe might not have even made it to this, uh, this great day in his life had it not been for a little fate intervening. Uh, Joe and I were at the Yankees game, game four of the World Series in 98 when they swept the Atlanta Braves and Joe and I were getting caught up in the celebration out in the streets of the Bronx and uh, we went looking for our car ride home and it was nowhere to be found. Uh, we almost got sucked up by the riot patrol but we were able to escape onto the four train and we actually took a New York City cab from Midtown Manhattan all the way out to Morristown, New Jersey. Had it not been for that, uh, that gracious cab driver who agreed to go off the meter and take us back out to New Jersey, God only knows where Joe would be today. But uh, congratulations, Joe. It's a well-earned honor. Uh, I loved working with you back in the day, and uh, more to come, I'm sure. I've worked with Joe for about four years on DTC campaigns for three different billion-dollar brands. And during that time, I've discovered something about Joe. Joe's one of the world's great enthusiasts. You know, I, I value enthusiasm in people, and you don't see a lot of it. A lot of people are afraid to be enthusiastic. They think it makes them vulnerable. Not Joe. Whether you're talking about DTC advertising or wine, art, his family, or the weather, Joe's an enthusiast. He's enthusiastic about good work, but he's one of those rare clients who, even when you're showing him an idea that he doesn't like, he's enthusiastic about it. And you wind up feeling, even though he said no, that you've succeeded because you know that he respects your opinions, he values the hard work, he understands your point of view, and he's confident that next time you'll do better. So Joe's a great guy to work with. We look forward to many more years of doing that because even when he says no, you feel pretty good about what you've done. Congratulations, Joe. You know, I knew that I liked Joe Hoholik the day I met him. We were together at a meeting in Malibu in a meeting room with a $10 million view of the beach. We seemed to have the same kind of worldview, and we both had a great appreciation for fine wine. I decided I respected Joe Hoholik not long after. We were doing some market research, and we were together behind the glass in Chicago, listening as a 40-year-old woman with a curable form of breast cancer, told us how her oncologist was slowly killing her by not giving her the best chemotherapy regimen he could. Both of us wanted to vault into that room and tell her to seek someone 
know really anyone else to treat her cancer. But ethics wouldn't allow that. I remember late that night deciding together that we would do whatever we had to do to make sure that no other patient would have to die because of a tentative oncologist. If I or someone I loved ever had a serious disease, I would hope that it was Joe Hoholik that was doing the DTC for that product. Because Joe's the kind of guy who is always the patient's advocate first. He figured out long ago that as long as you do the right thing by the patient, you're gonna do the right thing by the brand. Tonight, Joe, I'm ahead of you chronologically in the program, but always, always, I will be your follower when it comes to doing promotion. From the bottom of my heart, congratulations. As a creative, Joe is that client you always dream about. I can still remember the first time he met with Abelson Taylor. He was sharing his perspective on D2C with us and on about the third slide of his presentation, he has in big, bold letters, creative is king. Now, I guess most clients think creative is important, but I've never heard one say it so brazenly. Then a few slides later, Joe starts talking about the importance of great copy and great copywriters on his business. Of course, I've come up on the copy side of the business. I've never heard a client single out copy like this before. But true to his word, he places importance on every single word. I think that's just one small example of Joe's attention to detail and his ability to bring out the best in the people he works with. Of how he's motivated us and I imagine all his agency partners through the years to create ads that educate patients and also get noticed and get remembered. I can't think of anyone more deserving of induction into the DTC Hall of Fame than Joe Hoholik. Congratulations, Joe, from all of us at Abelson Taylor, especially the copywriters. Joe Hoholik was one of the first senior clients I had when I joined AT three years ago. And Joe, since day one, has really been a special kind of client and a special partner to me and, and to our agency. He's really one of those rare clients that understands the difference between good advertising and great advertising. He pushes us hard. He expects great things from us. He expects perfection, but he recognizes and acknowledges it when we deliver. And, uh, and that's something we really truly respect about Joe. And Joe's always been a DTC pioneer and, and that's why he deserves this recognition. So congratulations on being inducted into the DTC Hall of Fame, Joe.